this is Kim Nelson with the Jewelry Design Department of the Fashion Institute of Technology. Another tutorial in our series of tutorials for uh, basic Rhino modeling, uh, uh, basic CAD modeling using Rhino. Um, this is my band ring. We've been working on it over a number of tutorials now. I, my filigree band ring, I'm going to now show you what I would do if I were actually making this piece. Okay? There's my maquette. My maquette's all well and good, but I don't want my ring to look like that. I, there are things I want to change. I'm going to move that out of the center using grid so I can get it back whenever I want, and I'll hide it. I'm going to control shift H to unhide. Oh, sorry. Nothing. I'm going to control shift H to unhide. Um, these I'm going to want. So I'm, I'm going to control shift unhide that, ungroup that, take out the rims. I'll put that back on the hidden layer for now. Okay. This block is completely boolean together and for what I need to do next, that makes it totally useless. Um, before I go any further though, I'm going to save this file. save as so that in case I want to come back and use it I haven't lost it save as um, let's see. okay so I don't need that I'll throw it away um, so my bands are here not going to use them my curves are here I am going to use those extensively um, what I want to do is I don't want a simple round profile for my wires. I want something more sophisticated than that. I've tested it with the pipe. I know it all works with the pipe. Okay. Here are my pipes, um, you know, all woven up. Once again, not something very useful. I'll hide them. So I'm going to actually copy each one of these curves that I've been using to make my part. Down here along with this curve that I've been using, and I'm going to project them to C-plane, which with our keyboard shortcuts is C-enter. And I want you to delete the original. So those are now flat. Okay. Now, here's an interesting thing. When I moved those curves down into position for um, flowing along the curve during the flow, I had these selected. So unfortunately, these are now moved out of location and no longer have a useful relationship with this curve. Um, that is a problem for me um, going forward because I need to have them in the right place. Or I need to move these down so they're in the right place. It's a problem I'll address later. I'm not going to address it now. Okay, so, as I've been doing over and over again, I'm going to solid pipe this wire 1.3. But I don't really want it to be a round wire. I want it to be pointed on top. So I'm going somewhat pointed. So I'm going to come to my C-planes, set C-plane to object, and I'm going to select the end of this. Explode this. Ironically, this time what I want to keep are the caps. I don't want to keep the pipe. Okay. I'm going to extract the border of this. And I don't want to keep the surface either. Surface is no longer important to me. 
I'm going to take curve tools and I'm going to draw a box around this using the quadrants and shift both sides. Frame that in. And then clean it up. I don't need the circle anymore. Going to offset one of these curves up to the mid point. Going to offset one of these to the midpoint as well. Going to do a fillet curve set to zero to trim my curve up. Turn off the grid for a minute. Going to do a regular standard uh, blend curve. Quick blend. And I'm going to mirror it to the other side using history along that center line. So I need to use end snap quick, pull straight up with shift, and I'm done. Turn the grid back on. There's a command called end bulge. Just type it in, E-N-D, and you'll see it. Enter. That'll give you control handles, just like on an adjustable blend curve. But the nice thing about these is that because I have my history on, the other side updates match. So I can determine how much of a point I want on this. And that's about right. Okay. I can go to my top C plane now. I'm curious as to exactly how <clears throat> far I have in my maquette from here to the inside of my ring. I want these wires to go deeper. Set C-plane to the inside edge. Curve tools. Offset. Grab the inside curve. Offset through point till it meets the bottom of my wires roughly. Repeat the command, just so I can see what that number was. They're a millimeter away. Okay. Hide that again. Okay. I actually want that C plane back that I just had. I'll join this together so it's a flat planar curve, and set the C plane to that. Explode this. I'm going to offset this down. I have a couple of options. I can offset it down so that I know it's longer than the inside of my band. And trim it back up. Or I can offset it so that it's just deeper than it is now. The difference is going to be, if I offset it all the way down, I'll have a smooth band on the inside. I'll crop all my wires so they're smooth against my finger. That's kind of nice, but the problem with that is, is it gives each wire tremendous depth, which visually may not be nice in my design. So, being more concerned of the latter than anything else, I'm not going to go full depth. I'll just offset it so it's deeper. Um, take a look at what point 0.6 looks like. I want a little more masculine wire. That's why I'm doing this. Oh, point 0.5. I think that actually works pretty well. Fill it. Fill it. Turn off my grid for a minute so I can see well. Join. Close curve. Top C plane grid. Ready to go. Okay, I'm going to orient this part onto this surface. So transform. Orient. I'm going to do orient three points. 
can ask for three reference points, and I do want a copy of this. I'm going to use end and quad. Reference point one, and mid. Reference point two, reference point three. single rail sweep. I'll select my rail and my cross section. I'm going to try it with just one cross section and see what I get. as it would have if I used the second cross section. It did. That's only important to me because I'm going to be making a bunch of these and if I don't have to make two cross sections for each wire, I won't. So, I just wanted to see what my chances were of success if I didn't. So, I'll pipe. actually even need to pipe that one because I have a cross section already in place. Okay. And actually this is going to be much easier than I thought because I can just duplicate the border. fit's going to be at the ends. You see this? Because uh, it's not, you know, it's not precise. So I'll take a look and see where my fit problems are and how severe they are. Before I'll decide how to address them. It is interesting that in all but one place, same fit problem. This one, it went smoothly. I don't know why, but I have a theory. I wonder what happens. Flow along curve. If 
I pick the end of that curve as it's leaving the previous element, I wasn't careful about that directionality the first time. Do I get a better fit? slight fit problem. Actually, that works to my benefit in some ways. I'm going to go ahead and do my booleaning. Solid cat planer holes. Cat planer holes. Cat planer holes. Because they don't quite reach, they're going to boolean without fighting me. Every cloud has a silver lining. So, solid union. Solid union. Okay, I don't know if this will work, but I'll try it one more time. That doesn't surprise me because we have the coincidental surfacing at the end, uh, all of the same kind of problems that we were talking about before. So that doesn't surprise me. Decide which problem I want to solve first. I'll solve this problem first. Just like we did last time. Extract a curve. Split. Oh, I'm going to have to extract two. This time I have a surface on the bottom. Join these together and use them to split. This object. Cap planar holes here. Boolean union. surface. 
real sweet. Duplicate border, deselect the one I want to keep, hit delete so the other one goes away. One rail. One rail, make sure I get what I want, which is that closed curve. Need the border. Deselect the one I want. Delete the other. Sweep one rail. Sleep, sweep one rail. And flow. interesting. Something bad happened here. Okay, I hit the right, picked the wrong curve. Remember how I told you that Rhino sees the edges of surfaces as a curve? I accidentally clicked on the edge of that red surface and it tried to flow it there. And last one.
I'm going to make it 35.4. Add 10 more points. I'm going to do the same thing here. And see if that fixed it. segment of surfacing that it hates. This section right in here. I'm going to hide you for now. Right in here, Rhino hates. I'm going to explode this. Okay. I can rebuild this. But rather than rebuilding it, which is going to give me unpredictable results, <laughs> those are my choices. I can split it apart into smaller pieces or I can rebuild it. I'll rebuild it. Right now it's 29 by 21. I'm going to increase, I'm not sure which direction is which here on Rhino right now. I need it to be in, to keep the point on the middle, so I've got to have an odd number for sure. I'm going to set both of these to odd numbers. I'm going to set it to 45 by 45. That should keep the integrity of my shape. And try flowing it again. So what I've done is I've changed the math of the curve. That didn't help. I changed the nature of the geometry from this open to a solid. That didn't help. I changed the, the math in the surface itself. That didn't help. Okay, so I'll now flow it as different pieces. as well clear of the overlap if I can.
and I'll try flowing it joined. No nasty surprises there.
do this sweep, you have to make sure that those points line up. It's a nice piece of geometry you should follow. Of course, the last piece of geometry was a nice piece of geometry you should have flowed to. No, that makes no difference. Okay. Back to old school. Flow along curve. part of the geometry that's that's bad is right here. Explode. Actually, don't explode. Cutting plane. Make sure that that completely captures the bad area, which it does. Now these want to go all the way across the surface, which I don't want them to do, so I'll actually cut them with another cutting plane. And I will cut this with these cutting planes. And I'll do a blend surface, a simple blend surface. see this? There really is no reason for what is happening in this surface right now. Okay. I am convinced that my problem is in the cross section. For some reason, geometry no matter what I do. Okay, what happens if I flow the bottom?
deceitful to write it right now.
just recreating that flow surface. And that should allow me to keep my original top surface, which I liked. Which it did. Nice. More of the same, please. I do not recall if they all had that problem. We'll find out. steps over and over. Only got to do four of them. It's not that bad.
these two. Rebuilt the bottom. Flow along surface. Hopefully I clicked the right corner. I was in a hurry. Find out in a second. Nope, I missed. <laughs>
wind surfaces. Actually, our lofts are faster. Just do a loft.
this has a, this isn't the rebuilt one. Interesting. Well, that's actually the original original. I'll take that even better. Good. And quads. Okay. Decided I would like to keep the original somewhere in the file. Set my C plane to this disk. Non-uniform scale. transition from here all the way down. And that's my challenge, how to do that. Okay. Explode this, take the bottom out, join it back together, rebuild it with an insanely high number of points. Even more insane. With an odd number of top. that curve back on. Throw away. Now when I extrude it, it should be just two surfaces. Yeah. Excellent. Explode this, take the bottom out, join it together, rebuild it crazy high. Explode this, take the bottom out, join it back together. Rebuild it crazy high. curve 
down the middle. Now I should be able to surface. Surface. Up. Okay, Rhino in Rhino 5 likes to think of extrusions as something other than surfaces. surface again.
expect there to be minor fit issues here. I'm not terribly worried about them at the scale I'm going to be making this ring. Still, I do hope they're not severe. Extrude this edge straight down. Extrude this edge straight down.
that presents its own problems. They're not meeting where I need them to meet. Remove that blend surface. And the bottom. scale but it would change the, the, the sphere. I need the sphere to stay the same. That's what I 
expect to see. Okay, now I'm going to put it over there using flow. A long curve, hopefully. I don't want to do surface again.
that should be a, an open single shell, a, a solid simple shell, and it isn't, so we got to find out why. Oh, okay, that's why. Okay, well, actually, yeah. but it is a closed surface. No naked edges. Single hollow shell. Okay. Grab these three. Control paste. Solid union. Failed. Solid union. It's going to fail as well. Sorry for the long and tedious video, but for those of you who are at the level to understand what's going on, I hope it was helpful.